Hello and welcome to this Juice Project screencast. My name is Richard Wallace, the originator of the Juice Project. To find out more about the Juice Project, visit the project website which is hosted by Google Code at juiceproject.googlecode.com. And here we are on the Juice Project uh, website. The objective of today's screencast is to follow the steps that are detailed in the first two how-to document that has appeared on the site, uh, How to Hello World. Basically, the objective of this is ta to take you through the steps of introducing Juice onto your uh, uh, library or other website uh, and just get it to put the words Hello World on the screen so that we know that it's all working. And this takes us through the basic steps of everything we need to do. Right, well, let's get on with it. Um, I've got a library website here. This actually is a demo version of the TALIS hosted software as a service uh, discovery interface, TALIS Prism, which I just happen to have access to it as I work for TALIS. Um, uh, but it equally could be any of the uh, commonly used uh, OPAC interfaces or any other web based application interface that we want to add things to. So, Taking a look at the documentation, the first thing uh, it wants us to do is to download a couple of files. So by visiting the source section, which I've got tabbed here, of the, of the um, Juice Project um, site, I need to download firstly jQuery. If I click on that, it gives me a listing of the jQuery source. If I go to the raw file, that then gives us the ability to save that file uh, and I've got a little directory set up here on my local PC to take that. So that's that one downloaded. Uh, if we step back out again, uh, the other one is Juice. Um, this is Juice 0.2 which happens to be the latest version. Obviously you take the latest version yourself that you would need at the uh, time of doing this. So we save that as well. That's inserted into there. So the other thing it's asking us to do is to create an empty file. So if I um, take my uh, favorite text editor and create an empty file, uh, what it's asking us to do is to drop these two simple lines of JavaScript. So I'll copy those um, and paste them into our file. And then I'll save the, uh, the file as um, well, for our purposes at this stage, why don't we call it juice demo.js for JavaScript? You would obviously uh, call it something suitable for, for your site. So we've created these files. Now we need to upload them to a web server so they can be served as part of the interface for application. It could be on the machine that our application's living on. Um, so we need to transfer these these files. For this particular case, I'm actually using Amazon's simple storage service, S3, and I've got an area I've allocated on there. So by using uh, this simple Firefox plugin, I can drag those across and upload them one at a time onto the Amazon S3 storage service. We've done that. Um, I need to, on this system and no doubt on your own uh, web service, you'll need to edit the access controls so that so those files can be uh, read. So that's the first one. Edit the access control for that one. Uh, when it comes up, my network seems to be going a bit slow. Uh, so that's that one, yes. And finally, our, our demo file. Edit the access control for that so everybody can read it. Here we go, that's done that. Now to confirm that, we, ju we, we just need to make sure that these files are readable. You would do this for every one of those. these. I'm just going to do it for one. If I go into my web browser, create a new tab paste that in, press return, and yes we can see the contents of that file has arrived um, into our web browser so it's visible to the outside world. I can't emphasize enough the worth of doing that. It avoids loads of frustration on why Juice won't work when you track it down to the fact it's permission on your um, web server. Right, that takes us to the next step which is how do we introduce Juice into our actual interface? Well, uh, what we need to do is add three, these three simple lines of code into our web interface. Um, and to 
uh, edit the web interface on uh, Tully's Prism. Uh, I need to use a, a configuration interface. On your system, you may edit, uh, be uh, editing direct um, HTML files or whatever. But here I am in the header component, which appears on every page of um, the uh, Prism interface. I drop these lines in. But of course, the, the URLs to these script files are actually uh, example ones. What we need to do is make sure that we have the correct ones for our particular installation. So if I copy the URL for that and edit that one and then copy the URL for Juice itself and edit the call for that one like that and finally uh, copy the URL for our juice demo file into there. Whoops. Um, the, uh, actually, I need extra S there. So I I edit those in, so I can now save the file to the interface. Having saved the file, I need to log out uh, of the configuration interface. Right, I'm logged out now. So drop back to my user in, uh, my uh, OPAC and refresh the screen. Screen's refresh now, so everything looks fine. Uh, I haven't broken anything by the look of it. But if I scroll down to the bottom of the screen, you'll see here next to my cursor the words "Hello World." So that's the um, the debug line that's been dropped into the Juice interface actually appearing on our pages. And as I said, I dropped this into the uh, the footer of the the page. So if I actually go and look up an item on the on the OPAC, there you can see it's appeared on that page. It's there on every page. So we've proven we got Juice in. So we're ready to add some more extensions to it. In the meantime, as this is a live interface, ideally I don't want to um, be um, having seen that all the time so if you know a source file I comment comment out the uh, the debug section I uh, uh, and save that file we can then um, drop that over onto the uh, remote web server yes I want to overwrite the original that's uploaded uh, so if I come back to this screen um, press refresh what we will see is the interface. This has got Juice running in it, uh, and if you actually view the source of the uh, the uh, the file, which I'll do now, um, here we go over here. We can see that here here's my Juice demo actually inserted in the screen, but because I've turned debug off, we're not seeing what we did before. And that's basically it. The, the only thing I would I would mention is some interfaces actually use jQuery uh, as a basis for some of the work they do. If that interface uses it, uh, you don't have to upload it and you need to include the Juice script itself after that insert. Other than that, that's it. It all works. That's the basis of most of the, uh, um, the work to get Juice into your system. As you can see, it's very simple. Uh, and then come back to this website and see some more screencasts and uh, and read some more how-tos of how to move on uh, beyond this point. And um, good um, juicing up your OPAC.